Hello, welcome to Yarn Lane. It is lovely to have your company. Um, those of you that are just joining us this morning or this lunchtime, my name is Vicky um, and I'm really excited about being here with Helen from Willy Chic because Helen was here from day dot of Yarn Lane. She actually launched the show. Rebecca Reed, who is one of our presenters on Sewing Street, part of the team backstage as well, um, and who sort of is the person who's sourcing lots of the different uh, independent uh, companies that we want to work with. I know how much Rebecca Reed was desperate to get Helen from Willy Chic on the show. So uh, as I say, she launched the show with us. So it's a real privilege to meet her today. And we've got a bit of something for everybody. So we've got knitting and crochet. We are the only dedicated show to knitting and crochet, which is brilliant. So whether you are a novice, I mean, I'm completely new to this. Uh, I'm really excited to get learning though, I really am. So whether you are an expert and have been knitting for years and years, maybe you used to knit years ago or you used to crochet or you knit, but you've never crocheted or you crochet, but you never knit. We are gonna make sure that everybody has got kits and everything they need um, to get started. Now, something we have never done, I don't think, on Yarn Lane before is offer free postage and packaging. So for anybody who is, like me, wanting to try something new out, wanting to try a new hobby or try a new skill, maybe a New Year's resolution to pick back up your knitting needles in, in 2021, then today's the perfect day to do it because we're offering free postage and packaging using the code Vicky. PP. Honestly, the team behind the scenes have been amazing. So I, uh, I don't know for anybody who um, who doesn't know me or haven't been watching it. I'm not very really good at saying this out loud, but um, yeah, I found out I'm having a baby. So I told everybody on Sewing Street today, and this is the perfect show that Rebecca Reed has done especially for me today of all lots of lovely baby makes. Um, but the, I was going to say, that's the reason that the team have done free p and as well, just to spread some joy. So very exciting, using the code of VickyPP with the uh, with the call center on the, the web. You can use it across the whole of the Yarn Lane website. So it doesn't need to just be on the kits from today's show on anything you want from Yarn Lane website, use the code VickyPP and you will get uh, free posting packaging. Shall we dive in anyway? Because we've only got an hour. We're gonna start and we're going to do knitting and crochet today. So we're gonna start with these absolutely beautiful baby cardigans. Oh, they just, it's gonna literally make my heart melt this hour. Look at how gorgeous. Now this is crochet. We're gonna start with crochet. So we've got three different kits to show you, three different colorways. And in the pattern, there are different size options as well. There are three different size options. So this is the larger one. Um, isn't it amazing? Now, I don't know the gender of my baby. I don't know if I'm having a boy or a girl. So these colors are absolutely gorgeous, lovely neutral color, which is very, very in. And I must say, those of you that have seen Helen's kits before from Woolly Chic, they are beautiful. The, the presentation, how they will come to you is amazing. So they will come to you in this beautiful, beautiful box. If you're gifting it to somebody or whether you've got a bit of a treat for yourself and you're, you're making it for, for, for yourself or for a loved one, these are absolutely gorgeous. And everything inside, it, you get everything that you need, including you get 250 gram fair cotton. Uh, you also have your crochet hook, you have your pattern, uh, and you have your extra yarn as well for the edging. So this one's got that lovely accent, sort of like a teal green, which is beautiful as well as an accent. Uh, and in here, you also get the pattern, which you can do it in any three sizes. So just so you can see, you've got the smaller sizes as well. We have got the pink and the blue. Look at them. They're just adorable. So this is with crochet. Let's do the blue next. They're so special, aren't they? I mean, to gift, to gift items like this. Now I'm not, you know, saying, someone make it for me. I'm not saying that. I am, I am saying that. But I just think if, if, if you were to gift something like this, it's something that I would cherish 
for years and years and years and years and years and years, and years to come. Um, it is absolutely beautiful, the time that will have taken. Um, now, I know the difference, the only thing that I know is the difference between knitting and crochet is you use one needle for crochet or two for knitting. So if you were like me and you're thinking, right, I'm brand new to this, I want to have a go, you get the pattern, you get everything included, you get Ellen, Helen's exp uh, expertise today as well, and she's going to be doing a little bit of a demo on this um, and talk through, of course, any of your questions. So please do. I'm on the Facebook Live on Yarn Lane's Facebook um, page. If you do have any questions for us or for Helen, get them in. Now we've also got the pink version. Once again, you get everything that you need in there, including your crochet hook, and um, you get your patterns for each size with uh, instructions for any size that you want to do, all three sizes. Even the detail with the lovely ribbon wrapped round as well. They've got little baby feet on them. So cute. Now this is the pink option as well, which again is absolutely adorable, isn't it? It's just so pretty and it's so soft, I must say. The yarn feels so beautifully soft. Plus you're getting, as I say, your crochet hook, you get your pattern, you get your extra yarn as well for your edging. If you want to do it with an accent edging, don't have to. Um, just £19.99 and pence, and it will come with everything you need, all kitted from Woolly Chic. Um, I believe that these come separately. These come from Helen. Um, so if you've ordered anything else off the website or if you've ordered things, um, they might come in separate parcels, but we're still offering free postage and packaging. Uh, we're dealing with that, don't worry. Even though this is uh, coming from Helen at Woolly Chic, we will cover the postage for you today. It's free postage and packaging using the code Vicky PP. Uh, Melanie's messaged in. Saying congratulations, Vicky. Oh, she said it's wonderful news. Now is the time to start knitting and crocheting. I know, honestly, this would be perfect, especially given the year that we've had. It's it's perfect to just have a, something that you can do that's mindful and relaxing and therapeutic. Now we've got other kits as well to introduce, but what we'll do though is we'll do them after we've spoken to Helen about the, the cardigan, if that's okay. So Helen, it's so lovely to meet you properly. I've seen you milling around the office. Well, it's really lovely to meet you too, Vicky, and congratulations, oh, that's wonderful you. news. Thank I was you. I was watching a bit of Sewing Street and uh, listening to everybody messaging in and saying all the crazy cravings they oh, had gosh, and, it's strange, uh, yeah, isn't it? <laughs> and I thought oh this is so lovely to do baby crochet kits and knitting kits on a day when you make this oh, announcement is really it's lovely. It's really special it's so lovely and I mean this is something that everybody can get involved in now and I'm, I'm on board with you if anyone who has never done knitting and crochet the, the, the cardigans are crochet. The card right? Yes the cardigans are crochet and um, and the um, the yarn in, included in the kits and, and feel free to open the boxes okay. and, uh, and show the yarn because it is 100% um, organic cotton, oh, beautiful. Um, which is fair trade. So it's um, beautifully soft, perfect for baby, anything to do with um, uh, baby toys or oh, uh, yeah. because there's no harmful chemicals. 100% organic, so it, it, it is lovely, lovely to crochet and knit with. Gosh, it's so um, soft, isn't it's it? So, it's so it's so soft, and the um, and so if I if I start with the, the explaining a bit about the pattern. Yeah. So the pattern has got um, three sizes. Okay. So you've got the first size for um, the newborn baby. Mm -hmm. So tiny, tiny size. Then there's also a pattern for three to six months and six to 12 months. Right. So you can, when, once you've got the, the pattern in your, in your head, it's really easy to then make all three sizes. Oh, lovely. Um, and it comes, the kit also comes with a three and a half millimeter crochet hook. Right. So it isn't a tight crochet. You just um, can have a nice even tension um, and it grows really quickly. The other nice thing about the, the pattern is that there's no sewing. So it's made, and you can see you can see here, it's made in one piece, and then you fold fold it down. And what I'll show you is how to, instead of sewing along here, we're gonna crochet a slip stitch oh. along here. So that's why it's called the no sew. Uh, baby cardigan. So, um, so I'll just demonstrate this side here, where I'm just going to do slip stitches all the way 
to crochet both sides together. Do you always work off the off the yarn, like or on the uh, with the uh, the ball of yarn still there? You never would uh, cut a length off. No, no, no. Um, unless you have a, a skein of yarn, yeah. and I do sell um, some of my kits do come in hanks or skeins, so that would just come as a sort of continuous loop of yarn. Right. And if ever you get yarn that is sold like that, you must wind it into a separate ball. Right. But it is a continuous length right. until you finish a row or it asks you to change colour. That's when you cut it. So yes, you ah, work from okay. work from the ball and um, just you know pull pull it out. I always try to go to from the tension. Well, or loose. When you when you're first starting, tension is always an issue. Yeah. And quite often with beginners, they're either really really tight crocheters or knitters because they're a bit tense, mm -hmm. a bit kind of concentrating on, um, you know, getting the stitches right. So tension can be a bit tight. And then with practice, it loosens up. Okay. Um, if, you're, if your tension is, is too tight and you're finding it difficult to say, put your crochet hook into the stitches, I always say go up a hook size. Okay. So if the pattern recommends a three and a half millimeter crochet hook, like on this um, project, if your stitches are too tight and it's becoming a bit uncomfortable, go go up a go up a hook size. Okay. So, okay. So what what I thought I would do is just demonstrate how to join this section this together. Yeah. And then, if you like, I can go back to the complete basics and just do a few stitches of because this pattern uses a treble crochet stitch, and that's okay. a UK treble crochet stitch. That's not a um, American treble crochet right. stitch because okay, that yeah. is we'll, they're, they're different. We'll so go back and show that. Yes, yeah, so definitely. I'll go back. Okay. So where what we need to do is join the two parts of the fabric by putting a hook through the stitch at the top and the stitch to join it and then yarn around the hook and I'm going to pull it through all of those stitches leaving one loop on my hook. Now that first one's always a bit fiddly and with cotton it can be a bit splitty once you get past the fiddly stitches, right. then um, so um, again, I'm going to go into the first stitch under the V of the stitch below, yarn around the hook and slip stitch those two parts together. And what that will do is it will create not only a join, but a little ridge, which then can become a design feature on your cardigan. So I'm just going under. So I've got two V's. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, we can see so I've got perfectly. two V's of the stitch, of yeah. both stitches. Un so I've put my hook underneath both of those. Yeah. Then my hook goes under the yarn and I'm going to slide it through those stitches and the loop that's on the hook. And that makes the slip stitch. Right. So I do that all the way to the end. And like you say, the, uh, the, the end result it also looks like you say not only is that sort of constructing it together but also you can see that it's got this beautiful textured raised detail as yes. well hasn't it yes it has and it means that then also you don't have to thread the yarn break the yarn thread the um, yarn onto a wool needle and then and then sew up the stitches this actually just produces a really even finish Oh, I love it. And I mean, you've got um, in the kit as well an accent colour to do your edging. Yes. You don't have to use that, do you? On no. the pink here, you've done it all in, in pink. That's it, yeah. So you can choose. And um, I think in the kits, I've just included white. Yeah. But if you have any cotton yarn at home and you fancy doing a different, um, uh, a different accent colour, then, you know, be creative, be different. Yeah. Have your cardigans so that they are completely unique and uh, unlike anyone else's. And that's the beauty of handmade, you know, garments and toys is that they are completely unique. That's it. Yeah. And they do make lovely gifts. So if you, um, if you have somebody who um, is having a baby yeah. and you want to uh, make a cardigan for them, 
then what you can do is uh, make the cardigan and then put them back in the box, put the ribbon oh, around the box, and then give the give the whole thing as a as a present. Oh, so well, you do present these so beautifully. They are packaged really nicely as well for a gift for somebody. Yes, yeah. Whether well, you that, make it up yourself or whether you gift it to somebody that crochets. And I always like the fact that then the um, the material, the kit box, can actually be reused. Yeah. So it actually has another life beyond just the uh, you know just the packaging which yeah. is really nice as well so I, I've come to the end I've done my slip stitches in um, so I've got my slip stitches all the way along and then I'm going to cast off or fasten off and to do this I make a chain and then pull up a big loop now I'm going to make a really oh I, I'm just thinking actually that would that would be how I would fasten off I'd pull up a big loop and then I cut the top of the loop but we're going to make a feature of this um, and make a tie out of the very last bit. So on here, some have got buttons which yeah. I've made and some have got a tie. So what yeah. you could do is then make a series of chains and, um, and to make a chain, this is the first thing that people learn when they're, when they're crocheting yeah. Yeah. is how to make a chain. So you just yarn around the hook and pull that through the loop that's on the hook. Only yarn around the hook. That you taught me how to do this, but I, <laughs> I actually went on a, a wire work, um, a, a crocheting with wire workshop on our sister channel, Jewelry Did Maker. <laughs> so I could do it with wire. So Elliot started to show me, and then he was like, oh, I'm a really good teacher. <laughs> I just started doing chain. This is as far as my crocheting goes right, doing chains. Right. But that's a great start okay. because, to, to, because making chains actually means that you can learn how to hold the hook how to hold the yarn, although wire is a bit hard on your hands, yeah. um, but you can crochet with anything. So, uh, so yes, yeah, so, so you just then make a series of chains, as many as you like. I think the pattern does say a suggestion, but uh, you just uh, crochet your chains and then break the yarn. And then, um, so then you can just pull up a big loop and cut at the top. So that's how, that's, and then you've got a nice little tie that yeah. you can add to yeah. your add to your cardigan. That's a lot quicker than I thought, actually, doing the, uh, the sort of slip stitch to, to sew yes. it up. Yes, yeah. So, so, and then you would obviously do the, the other side. Now, quite often with garments, you have to make the sleeve separately. Mm -hmm. But with, the, um, with this um, no-sew baby cardigan, you actually can pick up the stitches right. and crochet around from, from this point. So you don't even have to sew the sleeves onto onto the cardigan so that oh, is um, so so that's straightforward um, the the tip for um, picking up the stitches and I'll just check the pattern um, to see how many how many stitches you pick up for the sleeves you have to pick up 30 treble stitches around uh, around so what I would do is I'd maybe find the top of the uh, of the shoulder and put a stitch and put a stitch marker yeah, in stitch marker. and then you will pick up your stitches 15 up to that mark and then 15 down the other side so that's um, and start at the base now this isn't done in to pick up the stitches isn't done in rounds so you don't do it like amigurumi and and go in a, a spiral you're actually still working in rows so you still would be going backwards and forwards but you join underneath the arm okay. um, with a slip stitch and then you turn and you carry on so I, I'll just I'll pick up some stitches and then it will become it'll become clear I'll pick up some stitches in a different yarn different bit of yarn don't forget, you can get this in three different colourways today. And for the first time, I think we've ever done this on Yarn Lane, you can also get it with free P&P. So if you do want to try out um, Helen's gorgeous kits, the Woolly Chic kits are available with free postage and packaging today. Now, you can either get it in pearl grey, which is the one that Helen's demonstrating with, which is, again, it's such beautiful soft yarn. You get the hook, the correct size hook that you need. You get your patterns for all three sizes. Plus you're getting, well, everything that you need is there in three different colorways. So that's the, uh, the beautiful pearl. We've also got blue and we've got pink, which we'll be running the graphics for as well. <laughs> okay, so in order to uh, join the yarn, it's quite simple. You just put your hook 
into your first stitch and then pull a loop of yarn all the way through. And then what I tend to do is hold on to both the tail and the working yarn. So the tail is the end of the yarn and the working yarn is what's attached to the ball. Mm -hmm. um, and I put my hook under both of those strands and pull both strands through. Now that's how I join so that it doesn't sort of come undone and it's a bit more secure. Then at that point you can let go of the tail and um, give it a bit of a tug. So that secures it in place. Now I've got two loops on my hook, but this isn't a stitch, this is just a join. So um, when you're working in rows with crochet, you always start with a turning chain. And so in this pattern, you're, you start with two chains. Two chains as your turning chain, and that is the equivalent height of a treble crochet stitch. So now I'm gonna demonstrate how to do a treble crochet stitch. And and I will need to do 15 up until my um, stitch marker. And sometimes this is a bit of trial and error. You might find that you, you haven't spread them out evenly enough, so you need to pull out a couple and redo it. Okay. It might take a few attempts, but the nice thing with crochet is that it's really forgiving. And if you, it, if you do make a mistake, you're not having to pick up difficult stitches it's like in knitting. It's easier than knitting, isn't it? It's, to, easy, to, it's to more create, forgiving than knitting. Okay. So to do a treble crochet stitch, you wrap the yarn around your hook first. So your yarn goes um, over your hook. Then your hook goes into the space or the stitch. And then under the yarn, catches the yarn and pulls through and I've got three loops. This isn't ideal, is it? I've got a gray crochet hook and gray yarn. No, we can but, see, um, we can really see, should, yeah. Should do it with white instead. So I've got three loops on my hook, yeah. and then yarn round the hook, and I pull through two, and then yarn round the hook, and pull through two. And so that is a treble crochet stitch. And there's three parts to, um, uh, to making a stitch, three stages, and that is, yarn round the hook into the stitch and catch the yarn that's stage one three loops on your hook mm -hmm. stage two then is yarn round the hook and pull through two of those loops and you've got two loops on your hook yarn round the hook and pull through both of those two loops and that is stage three three loops so that's why it makes sense to me that it's called a treble crochet stitch yeah so because there are three stages to it so then we carry on with our treble crochet stitches, picking up the stitches as you go. Are there lots of stitches in crochet? No, the nice thing is that there are only really three basic stitches and then a variation on those stitches. So the, so the treble crochet stitch is one that you would use if you were making a granny square. Oh, okay, um, which I've seen so many people doing on the Yarn yes, Lane fan page. <laughs> yeah, Granny Squares, they, they are, they're, they're a brilliant first project. Um, if, you're, if you're a beginner, then I would definitely recommend starting with a Granny Square. Yeah. Um, and then you, um, so, then you've, so you, then you've got the treble, and then also you've got a double crochet stitch. And in America, they call that a single crochet stitch. Um, so you've got and then a chain stitch and then everything else is a variation on those stitches. Um, Marion, thank you for your message. Oh, she says, hi, congratulations, Vicky. Thank you, Marion. She says, uh, I sometimes join knitted pieces as Helen was doing. She says it's useful with complicated stitch patterns where you need to match stitch for stitch. Doing your slip stitch. Yes. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Thank you, Marion. It's still all, if I'm being honest, it's still like a foreign language to me. I'm saying all of these words. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can see, though, if you, if you jot down today's show date when you get this home, um, you could do this along with Helen as well. And it's, it's great that we can get in so close on the camera angles because, I mean, it is making sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to just really quickly... Yeah. Crochet the treble crochet stitches all the way around to the very first stitch that I made and then I'll be able to demonstrate how to do the slip stitch and then turn and then basically it's easy to make the, the sleeves from there. 
Um, if you're making the largest size, the 6 to 12 months um, size, there's only enough yarn in the kit to make a short sleeve cardigan. So you, you've got the, um, the, the largest size and you can see that the, the sleeves are a bit shorter. Yeah. But you can always get extra yarn yeah. you can, and, um, and add them if you want them to be different sizes. They're so gorgeous, aren't they? Um, this is the pearl grey option, which is very popular. It is the most popular. It's absolutely beautiful. It's, it, it is like um, a warm grey, isn't it? Like you say, it's that pearl it oyster sort of beautiful warm grey. I love it. And it comes so beautifully presented with your pattern with everything. By the way, we've got loads that we're doing this show. So um, we will introduce the next kit um, yes. in a moment as well. So so I'm coming to my last so I'm coming to my last stitch around. So I'm just gonna put in a last treble. So going into the stitch, three loops, yarn around the hook, pull through two, yarn around the hook, pull through two. So I'm coming to the the first one that I made. And I made the two chains. Yeah. And I'm going to come into the top of those two chains and make a slip stitch like I showed you before. So uh, going through the stitch, pulling through and pulling through the loop on the stitch. Yeah. And then and then I'm ready to do the next row. Oh. So I'm then going to do two chains. And instead of going in the same direction, now I'm right handed. So I work in an anti-clockwise direction. If you're left handed, you'd be working in the other way. So, but then I'm going to go back into those stitches that I've just made. I'm going to turn my work and then start by making my treble crochet stitches back along that way. Right, so it's still classed as rows as opposed it's to... It's rows going rather round than round going and round, and round and round. I mean, there's quite a lot of crochet patterns where you do work in rounds. And when I come on to the lion, then uh, I'll, right. I'll show, you, I'll show yeah. you that one. But that's probably a, you know, enough to be able to give people an idea of, uh, of how to put these um, cardigans yeah. together and how simple. And literally, once you've done the sleeves and you've, and you've cast off and you've woven in your ends, then that's it. It's finished. It's ready it's to go on the baby. <laughs> oh, I mean, it is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? And it's great that you've got all three pan sizes. So once you've done it once, it's not going to be the only time that you no. use this pattern. You could do it again and again. Um, use the code VickyPP. It's the first time that we've offered any of Helen's kits with free postage and packaging. Definitely worth making the most of it. We're taking the hit, even though these, these come from uh, from Woolly Sheet, these come from Helen. Uh, we will be picking up the, uh, the the cost for the post and packaging, don't you worry. Now, right, so they're the cardigans, crochet. We're going to stick with crochet, aren't we, for yep. the lion? So, he is absolutely adorable. I love him. And the price on this, Helen, is amazing. Look at this. How is this $9.99? Once again, it comes so beautifully presented and uh, he is just, oh, he's so adorable. I love him. Oh, uh, Kat's saying that um, he looks like Kieran, my husband. <laughs> his big curly hair. He isn't ginger, no, he hasn't got um, ginger hair, but he's got curly hair like a big lion. So you get all of your beautiful soft yarn. Again, amazing. Um, everything that you need comes in uh, in the little gift bag as well, which again, you could then reuse if you're gifting them to somebody. I love this idea. Uh, plus, you're getting so all three colours. You're also getting some toy stuffing in there as well. And you're getting your all important toy lion pattern. Everything that you need included. All straight from Woolly Chic, including as well, you've got your crochet hook your crochet hook as well, your beautiful British wool for £9.99. I love him. <laughs> Isn't he absolutely gorgeous? Yeah, he, he's really cute and his legs and arms move. So they're not, well, you could sew they're them on. If you, if you wanted to sew them on, you could sew them just fixed. But, um, but yeah, so they, they can he's be flexing. moved as well. So they, he can wave and uh, do star jumps and... <laughs> He's very flexible, isn't he? Yeah. We love him. He's absolutely gorgeous. Make a little um, jacket for him, couldn't you as well? A little waistcoat, tell you it wants to make. £9.99. Oh. Right, so this, you say, is done. 
in around. Yeah. So this this is done with the amigurumi method amigurumi. of um, uh, of crochet. And amigurumi, uh, I think it started in Japan and it's made with um, just one stitch, a double crochet stitch, in around in a spiral with no turning chains. So where I was talking before about having turning chains where, when working in rows, this is working in a spiral, so okay. there's, uh, there's, no, there's no turning chains. Um, normally, it's just with one stitch, a double crochet stitch, and, um, but, and I will, I'll demonstrate how to do that uh, double crochet stitch as well. But with the lion, we want to make this curly mane. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do the loop stitch. And a few weeks ago, I did, um, uh, I demonstrated how to do a gnome. And that had a loop stitch as well. So, uh, so yeah, oh, it, it can be used for other things. But it's just a, so the Good interesting thing about the loop stitch is it's just a, a variation of a double crochet stitch. So with a double crochet stitch, you would be just putting your hook into the stitch and taking the yarn over your hook and pulling through the stitch. You've got two loops on your hook mm -hmm. and then yarn around the hook and pulling through both of those loops. So that would be a double crochet stitch, but we're at the point in the pattern where we need a loop. So in this, in this case, you still put your hook into the stitch underneath both parts of the stitch. So the V is on the top of the hook. And then you have your finger out. So you're making the loop with your finger. Okay. And then your hook goes under the yarn and over and then catches the back of the yarn. So you're pulling both parts of that loop through your stitch. And then you've got three loops on your hook. Okay. And then you go yarn around the hook and you pull through all three loops. And then your, your loop is secure on the outside of your work. So is it up to you how long you have the loop? Yeah, so you can actually adjust the size of, of the loop. Now that one's quite long and it's, it's probably fine if they're uneven. Mm -hmm. if, if you've got some longer loops and some shorter loops, it, it won't matter at all. But if you want them to be even, I'll show you again. So you put your hook in, you make your loop with your finger then you take your yarn over your hook and then round the back of the second strand of the, of the loop and catch it from behind and you pull both parts of the loop through the stitch and you've got three loops on your hook. Then you let go of the loop from your finger and at this point you can then make it bigger or smaller. So you can actually make a longer loop ah. or you can pull it and make it smaller or make it the right length for your for your lion. So then at that point you've got three loops you can then go yarn around the hook and pull through all three loops and you've got your loop on that side. And like you say this is a lovely technique that you can actually use for lots of projects I imagine. You could and uh, there was a fashion I think in the 70s for loopy cardigans, oh, yeah, <laughs> loopy, yeah. loopy hats and uh, <laughs> I'm not sure that fashion will ever come back for, for babies. But, but the uh, hair on toys, yeah, I'm thinking, yes, big yeah, curly yeah, hair. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Right. So I've got to just finish off going round halfway with these loops. So I'll do one more slowly. So I'm going into, into the stitch, making the loop with my, with my finger out catching the yarn from behind and pulling it through and I've got three loops on my hook, yarn around the hook and pull through. And so that's produced, you can see all those loops, oh, so you can amazing. see it's taking shape, Yeah. but that's actually the underside. So we're just going to extend the top bit here with some just plain double crochet stitches and then start with the uh, with the decreasing so that the head can take its shape. So to do a double crochet stitch, you go into the stitch, pull through a loop, you've got two loops on your hook, yarn around the hook, pull through those two loops into the stitch, hook goes under the yarn, pull through, two loops, 
yarn around the hook and pull through those two loops. So we're going to do that until we get to the loops again. I find it very therapeutic. It's it nice is. and relaxing. It is very nice and relaxing. It's the sort of thing that you can do just and lose, lose yourself in just yeah. stitch by stitch. It's very calming. I find that um, it's crochet isn't the sort of thing you can, um, you have to look at each stitch and whereas with knitting you can kind of knit away and talk to someone or look mm -hmm. at the television or with, with crochet you can't watch a like subtitled film or yeah, anything, yeah. <laughs> you, just, you can't t take your eye off each stitch but yeah. so, some people when they're making granny squares can kind of do it without looking but, uh, but, I, but I find with this pattern uh, especially with amigurumi where there's a lot of counting you have to kind of concentrate which is great for yeah. mindfulness absolutely and, uh, i think we've all sort of thought more about that especially yes, this year haven't yeah, we it's definitely. really important yeah and it's a good way to relax and uh, and unwind and forget about your worries and uh, just think about your stitches mm. okay so then what i'm going to show you <clears throat> is how to um decrease your stitches so if you if you've got in the pattern it says uh, loop two together mm -hmm. that would be making two stitches into one stitch so let me just demonstrate that because that's where you get a few few more loops on your hook so you're going to go into the stitch pull your um, loop out with your finger yarn round and catch the yarn from behind and pull through and you've got three loops on your hook now at this point you're not going to finish your stitch. You can let go of the loop that's on your finger, but then you're going to put your hook into the next stitch, make another loop with your finger, yeah. yarn around the, the hook, catch the back and pull through. And there we've got five loops on our hook. And at this point, let go of the loop, yarn around the hook and slide that yarn all the way through your five stitches. And so that is bringing two stitches together into one. So you've got, so that's your decrease. That's right. your decrease stitch. And you've got, you've still got your loops, but you've brought two stitches into one stitch. So that's looping two together. And so when the pattern um, says that you're going to be decreasing, say, from 24 stitches to 22 stitches, you know that you've got to do uh, a decrease stitch somewhere. So. That's just a, a quick oh, demonstration. We on love him and he's really, <laughs> really popular. Those of you that haven't yet checked out, remember use the code VickyPP and you'll get free postage and packaging. And he is absolutely gorgeous, isn't he? Look at his mane. Um, is super duper popular. A third of the stock has sold out. You do get your pattern, everything that you need to know in there. Plus you've also included some toy stuffing, haven't you? Yes, yeah, the toy stuffing is there and uh, and then the nose and the mouth and the, and the claws, they're all just embroidered. Right. So you just have um, thread the black onto a wool needle and then yes, you'd cut, you'd cut a length and just go so over and over for, for the claws and the eyes. Oh. So yeah, there's no, there's, there's no add on sort of um, eyes or anything that might, babies might sort yeah. of choke on or anything. No, that's it's it. all embroidered. I love that. They're absolutely beautiful. Look at him. <laughs> And you have everything that you need in the kit, all of your yarn, your crochet hook, your pattern and your toy stuffing. It's $9.99 with free postage and packaging. Last minute, gorgeous gift idea for somebody as well who you know loves crochet. Absolutely love it. Um, now, shall we do the rabbit or yes. the teddy bear? Uh, the teddy bear. Let's do the Let's teddy, do the bear. teddy bear. So now this is knitted, yes. isn't it? So these yes. are both knitted. Once again, these are absolute, I mean, this is classic, isn't it? These are like heirloom bears. They're absolutely amazing. So, oh, just look at them. They're adorable. £24.99. Um, they're big bears, aren't they? They're bigger than I thought they'd be from the photograph, actually. They are a lot bigger than I thought they'd be. And you, once again, have got everything that you need in the kit. So, Helen, talk me through... Um, what it is that we get in here because it's all again presented so beautifully in a nice tote bag your very own woolly chic tote bag <laughs> so what you will what you get is you get the uh, 100 grams 
of Blue Face Leicester, which is a beautiful, soft yarn, okay. very woolly, but very soft and uh, in a natural sort of um, light brown sort of colour. And that's produced by the West Yorkshire Spinners. OK, so have a look at this, this picture because you know the sheep uh, very well, don't you? Well, I, I'm a bit of a sheep geek <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to breeds of sheep. But the sheep that are in the bottom picture, they are Blue Face Leicester sheep. Um, and they, so they would be farmed in um, probably around about Yorkshire, uh, in, and although there's many different uh, sheep farms in the UK that have blue face Leicester, but they are thought of as the Merino, the British Merino oh. sheep, because we all know about Merino, Merino wool, wool yeah. and how lovely and soft it is, but Merino sheep are not really farmed in this country. Okay. So, um, so, so it's lovely that it's British it's as well. It's British and it's uh, from a sheep called the Blue Face Leicester. <laughs> um, oh, it's beautiful colour. Uh, and then also included yarn-wise is um, some, some little bits of different colour wool for the waistcoat or okay. for the, um, a little bow or a scarf or so there's enough yarn there for you to, and I'll put and buttons. Into, I'll put and buttons as well for the cardigan. So I'll put um, two different colours of uh, four ply, and that's actually my um, heart spun yarn. So that's Woolly Sheik's heart spun. It's really lovely and soft. So I'll put a couple of colours in the kit so that people can choose whether they want to make a purple waistcoat or a raspberry waistcoat, or a blue waistcoat. That's good, so you don't need to decide now no, which kit you no, can mix the, and match. The kit will way. have a couple of different uh, colours for you to, to choose, and um, and then it's got the toy stuffing and the pattern. Yep, your so, toy stuffing come in, and it comes in the lovely bag as well, plus it, the pattern. What it doesn't have is it doesn't have knitting needles. Okay, so what you, size do so I need? So you will need... I'm just checking three and a half millimeter knitting needles, okay. and they can and you can knit um, you can knit this bear on uh, straight needles or circular needles. It, it's entirely whatever you've got, but three and a half millimeters. But just check your tension. If you are a bit loose with your with your garter stitch, then you might want to go down to three millimeters. But it is a double knit yarn. So three and a half millimetre needles should be absolutely fine. Amazing. Right, so um, are we, should we do this now? Because I know that we're, we're running low on time. Uh, so we'll go for this and yeah. then we'll, we'll introduce the rabbits afterwards. Okay. okay. Well, I, so I thought what I would do instead of doing actual knitting, because this, um, this is a very, very simple ideal for beginners oh, who, have who have perhaps just been taught how to cast on and do the knit stitch this is made entirely in knit stitch so garter garter stitch uh, so it's a really really easy stitch and the pattern uh, has got lots of photographs and will show you exactly how to how to put it together so you you knit it flat and um, you've got all the pieces, yeah, so there's the, yeah. the photographs. Lots of photographs. Um, because it's probably the sewing up, which is the, the most complicated. Once you've knitted your, your pieces, so we've got here, so these are the, the legs, they look like a pair of trousers. Yeah. <laughs> but the way that you put it together is you fold, you fold the pieces in, and if you leave nice long lengths, then you can put those on a wool needle um, thread them onto a wool needle and then sew up and just just literally putting the pieces together and sewing over and over so it's just it's just sewing them over and over are you using a wool needle I'm using a wool needle and and it has a really big eye so if you can get hold of wool needles I think you've got them on on your website yeah. um, then you can um, it, it makes it so much easier rather than having to kind of you know try and force the yarn through um, an ordinary needle but it it's so it's so simple just to put the to put it all together and you literally just sew up one up one side of the leg up the other side of the leg and then you put it together and you sew up the back and that is the back of your of your teddy bear there's a lady's message asking if i do it in stocking stitch would it alter the size of the bear it will yeah because garter stitch is slightly 
it's slightly longer. Okay. But to be honest, I think if you wanted to do it in stocking stitch, you probably um, you probably could just add a few more add a few more rows. So it, it it's whatever. You know, I, I know a lot of knitters um, are absolutely fantastic at adapting patterns. Right. And they see Hacks. a pattern and they're just like, oh, I know, I could do this or I could change it slightly to this. And yeah. that, that's what's really lovely. Um, personalise it, I suppose. Personalise it? it, yeah. Paradoxal. And the nice thing is that you, um, that with increases, that you actually have a teddy bear. I don't know if you can see that that has got a bit of a tummy. Yeah, it has. <laughs> it's got a tummy, which then when you've finished stuffing it, you can then thread, put the, um, the uh, a thread of yarn and make a little, um, a little belly, belly button. button. Make a belly button. <laughs> so that's just really straightforward. And then, so you've got the, um, these are the ends of the uh, of the legs, the feet. So they go on the bottom, and then you've got pieces which are the the arms. So they're made they're made flat, and then you sew them up, stuff them, and there's plenty of toy stuffing in the um, in the kit, and plenty of yarn. So that you won't you can stuff it as fully as you want, oh. depend on how cuddly you want to make it. Now this this piece is actually the head, and it does look. It doesn't look like a head at the moment. No, it looks like a <laughs> triangle. It pair does. Of pants. It does. <laughs> so the way to make it into the head is you fold it in and you sew these two pieces together. And then you fold the top one down and you sew along this part. And then you take this this part here and you sew along that part. So, and, and again, the pattern shows you exactly how to do all of that and step-by-step -step photographs as well. Oh, and then that's to make the head. That's, that's to make the head. And if you, like, you can see the bow on the, uh, on the grumpy bear. Yeah. <laughs> the the bow bear. is just, this is actually the ear piece, but that you could also use that as the, as the bow. So to make it into oh. an ear, you would just fold it in half and sew, sew along the two sides, stuff it, and then sew along that side and sew it onto your bear. Mm -hmm. So, but, or if you just knit another one, you can keep it open and make it into a little bow or a little bow tie. Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. I think a lot of people are going to have lots of fun personalising these as well. Yeah. Um, these are rapidly working their way into the lead. The, the, the line as well. Very popular indeed. £24.99. You don't need to choose now which kit you want to do um, because when you get it home, you'll see that you have both colour. Well, you've got the, the pink and the purple and you can mix and match as much as you like. It does change right. the face, doesn't it? Depending on how you do them out. Well, that's, that's what I really love is that you can completely personalise these bears. You've got little characters. You can make them yeah with with a happy a, a perplexed you know and they, it makes it all completely unique so oh. they are yeah they've got a lot of character amazing yeah. amazing <laughs> right we've got about seven minutes so we better um Move scoot on to, on to the, the bunny rabbits is that okay just to yep. remind you it comes all beautifully presented as always in your tote bag in your kit uh, ready to be gifted to somebody or ready for you to stitch they are absolutely gorgeous now I absolutely love these. Now, these ones you do choose. You either choose for the white or the pink, and they are adorable. Absolutely adorable. Their little fluffy tails and everything. Right, let's start with the white. So, um, I've got to be quick. I know that um, I want to, uh, yeah, indulge over <laughs> them, but they are just gorgeous. Once again, they come in your lovely woolly chic bag. It's got the pattern, it's got the yarn, it's got the toy filling. Once again, everything that you need to get going. Everything you need, except for, again, the knitting needles. Right. So these um, also you need either a three millimeter or a three and a half millimeter knitting needle. Right. And um, yeah, and m most people have their own knitting needles and they, they yeah. have the ones that they like to use. So that's why I don't put knitting needles in my kits. Whereas right. I always put crochet hooks in the crochet um, kits. Oh, so look, you get all of your beautiful yarn, 
plus again you're getting the lovely different colors available um, and you're getting black as well for the face plus you're getting all of your pattern yeah. all of your instructions um, again the same needles same pair of needles three millimeters three point five millimeters yeah. is That's what we were what using need. before yeah. brilliant yeah. 20 yeah. pounds and 99 pence we also have the other colorway which is in the pink i can't make up my mind which is my favorite can you they're both absolutely gorgeous let me show you them next to each other there's the pink oh i love it i love them um once again comes in a beautiful beautiful bag um plus you're getting everything that you need to make your little uh, waistcoat. You've got your pink yarn, uh, you've got the white, you've got the green, you've got the black. You've put loads of colours in here, Helen. Yeah, yeah, just just little bits because the pattern has got uh, a pattern for the waistcoat, but there's also a pattern for the scar a little scarf as well. Oh, so you can adorable. make a scarf. Um, the pink is slightly different yarn to the sample. Okay. You can see it's slightly lighter, yeah. and that's because it is my new, my brand new heart spun yarn, which is the 70% um, Blue Face Leicester, 30% Tensel. So oh. it is really soft, beautifully silky, it is. and it's also. Um, very environmentally friendly oh, because of the tensile. Know. The tensile is uh, strong, like nylon, but it is 100% um, biodegradable oh, because it's made brilliant. from wood pulp. So yeah, so it's wood and wool to make these uh, and rabbits. And this is the first time that you've had them in a kit? Yes, that's oh, right. That's very right. Exciting. So brand new, and but makes a kind of more softer yeah. pink rabbit than the, than the sample there. But um, yeah. That's right, we've literally got four minutes, Helen. So can we do a bit of a pit stop through yes, the, the yeah, rabbit? Yeah, well, really, I didn't necessarily bring anything to demonstrate because yeah. I kind of you thought, through, well, yeah. actually, we'll, we'll run out of time. Yeah. But um, uh, because the rabbit is actually made in a very similar way to the, um, to the bear. bear, it's garter stitch. Uh, it is stocking stitch on the ears. So the ears have got a bit of stocking stitch right. uh, just to make it a bit smoother. Um, and the, um, the pattern for the scarf has got moss stitch. So moss stitch is just knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. So that is a, that's a moss stitch. Right. Um, but that's really, it's very, it's again, a very, very easy project. Ideal for, for beginners. It's quick because it's done in pieces and then yeah. sewn up. So yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of self-explanatory. Absolutely, and the tails are just <coughs> adorable as well, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. They're so cute. Look at the detail with your lovely little tails. Oh, lovely tails. I do, I do love pom-poms, as you can tell Notice from my from scarf. scarf. <laughs> my scarf, you know, so the pom-poms on my scarf is made with the same pom-pom maker um, that is with the uh, yeah. the rabbit. So, and I think Yarn Lane have got the those clover pom pom makers on their website as yeah, well. Yeah, this is it. So These are the extra small ones. They're four pound forty nine with oh, free P and P. They as well. they are fantastic. They so, they make pom poms making really really easy oh and you just get a bit addicted to making pom-poms i keep finding yeah. all of these wicker baskets at the moment that have got loads of pom-poms yes. all around yeah. they're very in aren't they they're very yeah. on trend yeah. they're, they're very on trend and i've got them all over my christmas tree yeah. pom-poms it's just yeah it's, it's brilliant it's addictive a great way of using up little bits of yarn Amazing. Uh, honestly, we've had um, so many projects there to have a good think about. Don't forget free postage and packaging on all of Helen's kits today. And in fact, across the whole of the Yarn Lane website, it's definitely worth having a bit of a scan through as it is available till midnight tonight. That code you can use all day, the 18th of December, if you're watching on a replay, 18th of December, you can use the code VickyPP to get free postage and packaging. Thank you ever so much. G uh, Janice just said, Brilliant show once again, ladies. Brilliant show. <laughs> uh, when are you back with us, Helen? Um, in the new year. I've got one oh. more show to go, uh, I think the 8th of January. Are you all ready for Christmas? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anybody who is this year. I don't think no. I've had one person uh, who says, yeah, I'm ready. I'm yeah, ready. I was thinking this show and then I'll get ready for Christmas. <laughs> yes, well, you're officially ready to go yes. and, uh, and get ready for Christmas. <clears throat> oh, it's been a pleasure. It's been really okay. lovely to be here and... Uh, yeah, great to share your wonderful news. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I am going to get knitting. This is it. We can do it. Thank you ever so yeah, much, Helen. It's great you, to see you again. We'll yeah. see you in January. Uh, just 
want to briefly recap because the most popular kit has been the amazing little lion. Look, look at it peeking through there as well. So you have all that you need, uh, including your crochet hook, all of your yarn, your pattern, your toy stuffing to be able to make the gorgeous woolly chic lion. And look, he's got his legs and his arms that move. He's extremely flexible. Um, and of course, watch back today's show, jot down today's date, which is the 18th of December, if you want to watch the technique of how you do these lovely loops. If you do watch back, remember, only free PMP today, 18th of December, using the code V-I-C-K-I. P P V I C K I P P, um, and that's across all of the Sewing Street website, the Yarn Lane website, uh, with the customer service team, with the web, wherever you're shopping today. Um, I just want to say thank you ever so much for sharing the most amazing day. I've absolutely loved it, and I can't wait to have a good read through all your messages. Well done, everybody who's got one of Hel Helen's uh, kits from Woolly Chic. Do make sure you're checking out your baskets over the next couple of minutes. Um, it has been a pleasure to be back with you. Right, Rebecca Reed is on Sewing Street tomorrow. When's the next Yarn Lane show? Where are we now? Monday. Monday's the next Yarn Lane show if you want to watch from 12 to 1 with Wendy Orlando on Monday. Uh, thank you ever so much for your company. It's been amazing. Don't forget, make the most of free post and packaging for the rest of the day. I will see you on Christmas Eve. See you then.